Hi and welcome. So in this video, we are going to see about Chef in Fantasy League question asked in April lunchtime 2020. Okay. So the question says that uh, the chef has to build a team of 15 players. He has already selected 13 players for some S amount. Fine. Now the two players remaining are one is a defender. Okay. And one is a forward. So these two players are remaining. Okay. Now uh, there are n available players with us n available players. Each player has a price of PI and if he is a defender, uh, then it is given that in the here it is zero. Okay. So zero represent that the player is a defender and one represent that player is a forward. So zero represent that player is a defender and one represent that player is a forward. Fine. And we have for each player, what is its price? S amount is already spent. Fine. Total amount the chef can spend is $100. From $100, S amount is spent and uh, we have to buy two more players. One defender and one forward. Defender is zero, forward is one. And the price of each player is given to us in an array. Fine. So we just have to print yes if it is possible to form a team of 15 players and no if it is not possible to team uh, to form a team of 15 players. Fine. So let's see the test case. So it is given to us uh, that total there are four players and value is four and 90 is already spent from 100. From 100, 90 is already spent. So 10 is remaining. The price of the players are three, eight, six and five dollars. Uh, and uh, we have zero for defender, one for forward, one for forward and zero for defender. So we have two defenders and two forwards with us fine so we have to just type yes or no if it is possible to create a team of 15 players so we can have one forward one defender and one forward so six plus three is nine and 90 plus nine is 99 uh, which is still less than 100 so yes it is possible to form a team of 15 players for 100 dollars fine uh, similarly in the second test case we have five seven six five 0, 1, 1, 0. So in this particular case, uh, is it possible? So take any combination. We have this forward, this defender, and from the forwards, we can choose this or this. So if we choose 5 plus 7 or 5 plus 6, this is our only choice. Both are greater than 10 and 90 is already spent. So we cannot create a team of 15 players anyhow. Fine. Therefore, the answer is no. So this was the problem statement. Now, uh, what is the solution for this? It's uh, very straightforward that uh, um, from 100 some s value is already spent okay so this much value uh, is all is remaining with us is allowed to be spent now okay only this much value now given the arrays of price and the number of forwards and defenders with our forward with our defenders from each defender three and five are the defenders choose the minimum one and eight and six are the forwards so choose the minimum value Okay, so from defenders choose the minimum price and from uh, forwards choose the minimum price. If we add these two things, that is 6 plus 3 is 9 and we add this value in our S and this value is less than 100. Okay, is this value is sorry, if this value is greater than 100, then print no, else print yes, as simple as that. Why, why only the minimum values? Because uh, from the defenders, if we choose uh, a minimum value and from the forwards, if we choose a minimum price, okay and if we add them if they are only greater than uh, the 100 if we add it to this value let's say x and if it is greater than 100 then any other value will definitely any other value combination will definitely be greater than 100 if the minimum is greater than 100 then obviously any other will definitely be greater than 100 so all we have to do is from the given defenders and forwards just find the minimum values there are several ways to solve this question you can create separate arrays for defenders and forwards okay or you can just simply use the method of finding minimum element present in an array fine how do we do this so let's say min 0 and let's its value be 10 to the power of 5 and min 1 let its maximum value right now be 10 to the power of 5 fine why 10 to the power of 5 because we just uh, you can see the constraints it is just still 100 and n can be 100 so if we it's not more than that so we can just have these values it will work so now just uh, look through the array that we have price array okay now for each price array we check for our type array that is nothing but it is forward or, or defender so if in our type array it is a defender then just check for min zero if min zero is greater than the current price array or not if it is update the min zero 
and similarly check for type is equal to equal to one or not and just check for mean one is greater than array of i if it is just come just update the mean one and finally add s plus mean zero plus mean one and if this value is greater than 100 then print no else print yes you just have to find the minimum element present in the array this question is finding the minimum element present in the array there is just one condition that you have to find minimum element in type 0 and you have to find minimum element in type 1 and that's it that is the question okay just finding the minimum element present in the array of type 0 as well as type 1 let's see the code behind it so so here is the code we take the test cases take n and s as the input take our price array as the input take our type array as the input uh, give mean 0 and mean 1 initialize them now uh, for our price array we loop through it if type i equal to equal to 0 okay we check for the mean mean 0 element condition else we check for the mean 1 element condition so we are simply finding the minimum element of 0 type and minimum element of 1 type Finally, we are adding it. If it is greater than 100, print 0, else print yes. Okay. Do not do it int max. Uh, if you are doing it int max, then take the values as long long. Fine in C++ and in Java take long. The reason being, if you use it int max and you have a test case like this of 3, 8, 6, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. Now, if you have a test case like this, then in this particular case, min 0 will be 3, but min 1 will be int max okay and if int max is 10 to the power of 9 around 2147 that value okay now if we add s plus min 0 plus min 1 so this value will be more than the integer range this value will be more than the integer range okay so therefore either take long long if you want to use int max or i or if you want to use just int then use these values okay and that will work fine so this was the question thank you